Before mounting, withdraw the valve's piercing needle by turning the handle counterclockwise until it stops. Now, screw the tap valve in the clockwise direction on the threads at the top of the can. Next, attach the short end of the charging hose to the tap valve. With the charging can ready, start the engine and then turn the air conditioning to maximum cool and set the fan switch to the highest speed. Now let the engine run for about three minutes. Be aware, carbon monoxide poisoning can be fatal. Never operate the engine with the vehicle inside a closed garage. Next, pull back the coupler sleeve on the end of the charging hose and place the coupler over the low side port. Now release the sleeve to lock the coupler in position. If you're charging an existing R134A system, the gauge will indicate the system's current pressure. Turn the handle on the tap valve clockwise to allow the needle to pierce the can and give it a shake to mix the contents. Now turn the handle in the opposite direction to release the contents into the system and keep the can in the upright position while shaking the can occasionally. By the way, it's normal for the can to get cold as the contents are being released. Repeat the procedure for the second can. Since I won't need the entire contents of the third can, I'll judge the fill based on the pressure gauge reading. In order to get an accurate gauge reading, make sure the tap valve is closed and the compressor is running. The pressure gauge is color-coded to make interpreting the readings easy. The green area indicates that the system is low on refrigerant, while the blue zone shows that the system is properly filled. If the needle is in the yellow area, the system is overcharged or the compressor may not be running, so be sure the AC is turned on. Finally, if the gauge registers anywhere inside the red zone, it means the system is malfunctioning. Under this condition, the vehicle should be taken to a certified air conditioning specialist for repairs. If you don't need the entire contents of a can as determined by the pressure gauge, Turn the handle on the tap valve fully clockwise before removing the charging hose.